Back in 2015, I led UKIP. Uh, you know, we'd won the European elections the year before. It was quite a mature party by then with branches and structure all over the country. And the Daily Mail and the Sun said that I was the wrecker, that I was going to split the Tory vote and make Ed Miliband Prime Minister. And the reality was, actually, the reason the Tories got a majority was because the UKIP vote, the 4 million votes, actually hurt Labour far more than it hurt the Conservatives. And then, two years later in 17, when, the, when, when UKIP had basically ceased to be a serious political force, everyone thought, oh, well, that's obvious, isn't it? You know, the UKIP voters will all go to Theresa May because she's saying Brexit means Brexit. And actually, a huge number of them went back to the Labour Party. And so I think... I think that They're for familiar reasons, aren't they? People, people vote... It's a le- cultural thing. It, you go to these... You go to these old coalfield type areas, um, and yeah, you know, your Doncaster's, yeah, your yeah, yeah, and I'm perfectly happy to. In fact, you and I did a yeah. um, did a live stream broadcast from a working man's club in Featherstone, uh, and and you know, and I can go in there and 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 have a pint with these people, and 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 and, and we get on well. But these families have voted Labour since 1918, and they simply can't bring themselves to vote Conservatives. So I think. I think if Boris is going for that vote, it's a misfire. I genuinely do. Tell me, is the Boris campaign slogan going to be get Brexit done? 